Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out this insanely useful free resource for game developers called the Universal Animation Library from Coroners.com. That's right, this pack includes over 40 plus high quality animations for humanoid characters, and it's a 100% free with a CCO license, meaning that you can use them in any project, whether that is commercial or personal, no strings attached. So whether you are working in Unity, Godot, or Unreal Engine 5, this library has you covered. And in this video, I'll be covering over every single animation that comes included in this free pack. Also, don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing you how you can download, import, and retarget these animations so you can use them for your games for any character that you'd like. So if you're looking to speed up your game development workflow without spending a dime, stick around because this is a absolute game changer. And before we get into the video, I want to quickly tell you about something that I've actually been working on and I'm super excited to share with you. If you ever wanted to create your own multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5, I've got something just for you. I've put together a comprehensive step-by-step -step course that walks you through the entire process of building a multiplayer survival game from scratch. We're talking everything from setting up your project, creating gameplay mechanics, implementing multiplayer functionality, and even creating an open world map. Whether you're a beginner or experienced developer, this course is designed to help you level up your skills and bring your game ideas to life. And the best part is that you have access to all the project files so you can follow along and use them in your own projects. If this sounds like this is something you'd be interested check the link in the description to learn more and enroll in the course trust me this is the perfect way to take your unreal engine 5 skills to the next level now with that being said let's go ahead and check out these free animations all right so here we are in the level so i'm just going to start over here on the left and kind of showcase all the different animations that we got so you can see over here we have some sort of like magic spell casting animation we also have some hatchet idle animation so sort of holding a axe or sword in the left hand Okay, and some swing animations. Up here in the front, we have some hit reaction animations. We have this roll. Then we have this torch holding animation. Okay, we have this pushing a box. We have this pointing or pressing a button. In the back here, we have swimming animations. So it's really nice that they include that. And then over here are the locomotion. Now, one thing about these locomotion animations, you see we have running jogging and sprinting is they're not like the ones that you get default from Epic Games or even the ones from Mixamo, which are, you know, just a regular sprinting animation, regular walking. These ones are sort of like animated. So you can see the character has sort of this jump in the jog, which I think is really neat. And you're not going to find a running jogging animation like this anywhere else. So it's very neat that they included that. Okay, so over here we have this falling down loop. Okay, so we have this crouch walking and we have sort of like this talking animation another crouch idle. Over here are the pistol animations. So it comes with these pistol animations, which are pretty neat. We have the fire, we have the idle, we have even reload. And then over here are the aim offsets. So you have the look up, down, and the center. Okay, in the back, we have some sitting animations. So you can see we have sitting up. We have actually a driving car animation, which is pretty neat. You're not gonna find that on Mixamo. We have a basic sit idle, we have some talking, okay, standing to sitting. We even have some punching animations, so you can see we're punching. Okay, here are the other magic spell casting animations. So there are those. Okay, and I'm not really sure what this one, I think this is like pickup, which is pretty neat. Again, I, I can't find a pickup animation anywhere, so it's just cool that they have this included in the pack. Okay, in the back here we have the fall idle the jump land. This one is pretty neat. It's like uh, sort of like going down to pick up and maybe like scavenging around or looting something. Okay, we have the swim idle. So this goes along with that swimming animation. Uh, we have this funny dance animation. And I think just the regular idle. So yeah, those are all the animations that come included in this pack. There's quite a bit. And as you can see over here, I've actually retargeted them to the epic skeleton which is pretty simple. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end of this video, along with how to actually download and import these animations. It's not too complicated, so it's actually pretty easy. So you can see what the locomotion looks like. Honestly, I love just like the running and jogging animations. Again, they're just super animated, something out of like an RPG game or, you know, like a stylized character running. Okay, so over here we have some of the roll animations. Okay, some of the pistol animations, you can see that the retargeting needs a little bit of cleanup because the hands 
oftentimes when you retarget stuff like this, it can happen where the hands are on the right positions, but you can actually fix that with the IK retargeter. I have a full video on how to do that on my channel. But yeah, here are some of the other animations. You can see what they look like on the Epic Skeleton. But I actually set up a character using these animations. So if I go ahead and hit play here, yeah, I set up a basic character that uses the idle. So this is what the idle animation looks like. We have actually some jogging and also the sprinting. So this is what the sprinting looks like. So yeah, honestly, I love just the animation style of it. Just how bouncy the character looks like and energized. It's much different than the uh, default animations that Epic has. So I think it's kind of cool that you can download these free animations that are different from the default Epic animations, the one from Lyra or the Game Animation Sample Project, as well as Mixamo. So it's just another uh, great resource for animations. Okay, and just to show you what the Epic character looks like, uh, pretty much the same animation style. Again, it has that bouncy locomotion. We have the sprint. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these down in the comments down below. Now to actually download and import these animations, uh, basically you wanna head over to the website. I'll leave a link to it in the description, coordinators.com. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name, but I've actually featured the assets, the free assets from this website here on the channel before. Uh, but basically over here is the universal animation library. So you just click on it. And as you can see, we have license, which is Creative Commons, and how many models, animations, all that stuff. So we're going to download the uh, free, the standard free. So go ahead and click download and you can support the creator. Uh, if you'd like to, you can support them on Patreon or you can just get the free download. You can download here and it's going to pop up with the itch.io. So if you guys want to uh, donate, you can go ahead and you know donate them. If you don't want to donate or if you don't have you know money to donate, you can just put in zero here and just click the pay. You'll need to enter your email address. So go ahead and enter that. And once you go ahead and click pay, you'll get the download right here. So you just click download. That'll go ahead and download the file right there. Now with the download extracted, so this is what it will look like. Uh, you have the different folders. So you have Godot, Unity, and Unreal Engine. So we're gonna go into the Unreal Engine folder, obviously. And then in the, your content folder in your project, just create a new folder. And basically you wanna take this file, the AL underscore standard, and drag and drop it into the content browser. And you want to expand under the animation. First of all, make sure that it's checked. Skeletal mesh will import to true, import mesh is true. Make sure that there's nothing here assigned, this is none. And then you wanna expand animation and make sure that you hit the checkbox, import animations. Okay, then click the import all button. What that will go ahead and do is import the character mesh as well as all the animations from that single file. So we'll just give it a couple minutes here to import all that. Okay, so once it's all done, you can see that it imported the character, it's imported all the animations, so you can just do a file save all. And then all you have to do to retarget any of these animations is you just right click on any animation, click over here, retarget animations, and then you can click your target skeleton. So if you have a character model that you've downloaded and added to your project from Fab, or if you wanna retarget it to the Epic Skeleton, you'll just hit the drop down to the target, select what skeleton you want. Say we wanna retarget it to the SK mannequin, the UE4 mannequin, or uh, the UE5 mannequin. Basically, you'll just select it, and then you can select you know whatever animation that you'd like. So say we want one of the reload animations or the spell casting, you just click export animation or you can select all of them by hitting control A. But let's just select this death animation and click export. You'll choose where you wanna export it to. So just create a new folder in here and click export. And then it will take us to that folder. We can just drag and drop it into the level here and we simulate, you can see that's our retargeted animation. Okay, so very easy, very quick. You can just download it, import it, retarget it to whatever character you'd like, and you have access to all these free animations, which are completely royalty free, and you're free to use them commercially in your projects for whatever you'd like.
So yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the animations on the website. Go ahead and download and support the creator if you can. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these free assets down in the comments below. Is this something that you'd be interested in using in your projects? Let me know down in the comments. And that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.